Welcome my guys to another video here in New Zealand. We are in a random city called Hamilton now. This is the third largest city in North Island, on the North Island. Probably fourth largest overall for New Zealand. Um, and we're just driving up on our way to, to Auckland from Wellington. We've gone to many cities along the way and little towns, regional places. I haven't been able to ride any of the transport though, but I've looked at some of it in Taranga, Napier, and several other places. But here I just made a quick stop because I saw the coolest thing. Here is the Central Hamilton bus station, and it's designed as a as a UK bus station. A lot of the things here remind me of the UK, including all the road signs and stuff. But this bus station is exactly like a UK bus station which I've never seen in real life before which is where the the stops the stands are basically parking slots for the buses and then they only open the front door at them and it's staggered so that you have room to board see so this is like what I've seen online on Roblox games but like I've never seen it in real life look at that See how cool it is? So that each stand has a space for the bus to come in and then you stand at the front and it's got the map of every route on the board. I'm not going to ride any of the buses. I'm just showing you what this looks like. This is a super quick video um, and we need to get to Auckland immediately. It's 5 p.m. We should be there by 6 but that's not going to happen. And there's a whole waiting room actually. Let's go inside. They call it transport center, but it's literally just buses, regional and local. Plus you can buy tickets for the train to Auckland, which is just, like twice a day, that train up there. It's basically like the Trans WA booking center, but the train station is not even here, so. Yeah, here, this one. And there's also the Northern Explorer tourist train, which is like the Indian Pacific, which comes from Wellington and also stops in Hamilton. But the Hamilton train station is actually so bad when I looked at it on Google Maps. Platform map all the way up to V. That's how many platforms there are. I saw a regional bus actually, double decker, double decker intercity bus. That is so weird. Imagine me in a double decker bus out in the country for like five hours. That's crazy. Sadly, just didn't capture it on camera. There's actually some normal bus stops out here as well. But yeah, here's the bus station. The bus depot is also right at the back there, which is so cool. At the central bus station, there's the bus depot. Perfect, very convenient. Here's a good shot. Anyway. There's also a ton of taxis here. Look what I found here. The very distinctive noise of a B7. Oh, he turned the engine off. This is literally a B7, Volvo B7, just with a different body. So distinctive, I thought I was in Perth again. The sound is exactly the same. This one right here. Anyway, yep, that's it. We're gonna cross the road again. And one great thing about New Zealand, did you know that you are obliged to cross as a pedestrian and cars and vehicles have to wait for you whenever you see these orange poles. That doesn't exist in Australia. In Australia, there's no legal requirement for vehicles to stop for pedestrians anywhere. It's like, it's highly recommended, especially at formal crossings, but it's not something you could get like a, a fine for. But here, whenever you see those orange lights, pedestrians have full priority and you can basically walk onto the road because 99% of people are gonna stop. You should still check for the 1% that wouldn't. But it's really good, so 
but it's much faster crossing the road and you never really have to wait and you don't have to worry that much about cars it's actually so good I love the rule plus it makes cars a bit slower and makes public transport a better option anyway that's it thanks for watching I'm gonna move on to Auckland now and have another three great days on the transport there